Juan de Brass, uh, as the name implies, lots of brass instruments, loads of saxophones, trumpets, trombones, even a sousaphone and a bass saxophone, I think they have in the lineup. Um, so it's kind of, yeah, it's kind of a cross between a New Orleans marching band and a traditional big band. I've got the basic shape, I guess, you know, I know where, I know where it's beginning, <laughs> I don't know where it's ending. Um, in terms of bars, I probably can't tell you how many bars that are there I'll keep. I want it to be something that is f involving for all the instruments, regardless of how many of each particular instrument they are, but something that, that you know every player can get their teeth into and have a bit of fun with. It's going to be fun. And I'm hoping very much, as much as I've written the piece, I, I want them to influence me as much as possible in how the piece finally sounds because ultimately you know, those, those are the guys who are going to be playing it and it's very specifically written for them. I mean the, the great thing about putting a piece together in this way I think is, is, is the two and the frying and I think actually that reaction is, is, is key you know. It's fine sitting in front of a computer or whatever and dealing with computer sounds but that can only take you so far it's not until you have the real into reaction with, with musicians and actually hear the sound for real, then you can um, kind of gauge what needs to be done and have a bit more fun with things. The thing with this particular group is they're, there's, they're very much a mixed ability group. You know, you've got virtuosos in there to people who are near beginners, you know. I'm very much aware that I have to write a piece that is all inclusive of uh, different abilities. And so, um, not that I'm particularly worried about it, but that's definitely something I have to keep in the back of my mind as I go through the process. For me, collaboration is key. Um, I mean, I, and I think it is mainly from coming from a jazz background. Um, it's all about what happens when the musicians play the music, and, and um, you know, I'm very used to, even in a duo situation, I'm very used to bringing a piece of music, having it played, and someone saying, oh, have you thought about this? Or they may solo on something in a different way that makes you come up with a different idea or think about a particular phrase or passage differently. Um, obviously, it's, it's a fantastic opportunity to be able to write this piece for such an important um, cultural event in the history of, of England, of London, you know, just looking at the spectrum of all the different composers and the different compositions and the different groups that they've invited uh, onto this opportunity. I think, um, you know, by the end of it, we're going to have a fantastic mass of work that is really reflective of the whole kind of vast community we have in this country. So it's, it's really exciting to be a part of that.